What up Wolves, Blade Master here, back with some more Total War Rome 2 online action. And this is going to be just one of the many uh, battles that I fought against uh, Danko from the TWR clan. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous battles that I played against Danko, it's, he, you, he's always been a really good player. I mean, he is a very good player and our battles have always been very close. Um, some of the battles he's completely just destroyed me. Um, but let's see if this, this is going to be one of those. In this one, I've taken uh, uh, Seleucids and he has taken Gedai as a counterpick. Gedai is probably the most competent um, barbarian counterpick that you can bring. And uh, he's gone with his uh, Danko TM strategy, bringing his four uh, bow horsemen up in front and then uh, keeping the rest of his line all the way at the back. And uh, he's immediately starting to attack with his bow horsemen. And uh, let's, let's take a look at uh, you know, what else he's brought. We can see he's brought a total of four bow horsemen. And then um, for, for the rest of his line, he's brought an actually very, very competent army. He's brought a total of four armored spears and they're going to be kept on his flanks. And in his center, he's going to bring three noble swords, again, very competent. These are three, you know, almost old throne level um, uh, melee infantry. And then he's brought a couple of Dacian heavy skirmishers and a couple of, uh, no, three Dacian heavy skirmishers and one regular Dacian skirmisher. And finally, he's brought a total of four uh, spear horsemen. So a pretty balanced build, he's got a lot of good spears and uh, good spears are a must against um, Seleucid, uh, Seleucids. And he's also brought some really good uh, uh, swords who will definitely be able to beat you know, th the Thorax swords that a uh, regular Seleucid build would usually bring. So let's see what I've brought. Um, I've brought a total of uh, four Median Cav, so uh, you know, a couple on either flank. I've also brought a couple of um, a, a Gima Cav and finally two Horse Skirmishers and uh, I'm going to back them up with two Thuria Spears. So it's going, I'm, I've gone very heavy on the calf front, but as you can see, I haven't brought any, uh, any chariots. So what, uh, what have I spent that money on? Um, I've brought a whole bunch of archers, and, some, and most of them are actually really strong, the Syrian heavy archers. So I've brought one, two, three, four, five Syrian heavy archers, and one Persian light archer. And finally, I brought a pike course. So this is going to be four levy pikes. And, uh, it's always, you know, it's always a, a, a risk bringing a pike core against anyone, let alone a very good player. Um, so, you know, it's, I've put myself at a pretty big risk right off the bat. And here I'm playing, I'm playing quite defensively, you know, I've moved my Thorea Spears up in front, so in case his bow horsemen get really close, these uh, guys can just fire up a javelin like you can see them doing over here. And uh, I managed to kill a couple of his uh, bow cavalry over there. It's a pretty decent strategy to kill off those pesky bow, um, bow cavalry, although there are definitely better strategies there. Could have just brought like an Axeman unit and just used it to chase off or some like some really cheap unit and uh, just used it to chase off those um, uh, bow horsemen. Or I could have just deployed my entire army really far behind like, oh god damn it, let's move it back here. Yeah, there we go. So I could have deployed my army like pretty far behind and then just used uh, all my cavalry to just chase off those bow horsemen and eventually they'll run into one corner or the other. And then the skirmish AI is going to derp out and then I'll be able to kill them off with my melee cavalry. So those are just like some alternative strategies that you can use, which I haven't used over here. Um, but Midian and Cav are pretty uh, well armored. 70 armor isn't great, but you know, they, they will be able to withstand a bit of fire. And meanwhile, since his uh, bow horsemen were, in the, uh, were on the flanks, I was going to use this space to uh, run in with my horse skirmishes and just, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do too much because he had uh, Dacian heavy skirmishes there anyways, but just uh, to create some sort of a distraction um, so that he could stop, you know, pelting my, my units with constant uh, um, archer fire. So I'm just moving up slowly. He's in no hurry. He's not going to move up in front. He, al he obviously wants his, um, his bow horsemen to, uh, you know, do as much damage as possible. And uh, slowly my, you know, Thoria Spears, uh, they are getting a bit more separated from the rest of my army, which isn't uh, the greatest thing in the world. But, you know, if I had to only engage his cav, my cav would win any day of the week. Unless uh, he brings his armored spears to support quickly enough, in which case it would obviously not go in my favor. Another thing that, uh, you, that could be a pretty useful tactic is, um, you know, if your opponent isn't microing well enough, uh, then you can use your uh, horse skirmishers or any javelin cavalry to kill them off in like a matter of seconds. Because the skirmish AI doesn't, uh, I mean, the skirmish AI lets these uh, bow horsemen sit um, close enough for enemy javelins to start firing. So, yeah, that's, you know, you can never trust skirmish AI as the moral of the story here. So, these Syrian heavy archers have already lost like 15 men from those bow horsemen. But apart from them, I haven't suffered many casualties. You can see the other one has taken like, uh, has got eight kills. Some of them have not even got any. One has got like six, the other one's got like nine. So yeah, not, not many, uh, and that's to be expected from like a, a heavily armored faction. They're probably doing some pretty decent HP damage, 
but besides that you know they're also already uh, they're also taking a couple of casualties too so these bow horsemen are already at like 46 men out of 60 and i'm getting ever closer to his line in terms of how who would win the the main line it just depends on how well i can use my um my syrian heavy archers and all that's going to boil down to is how long i can hold out his cavalry because um if left unchecked the syrian heavy archers will just massacre you know all his um his noble swords which is what i'm going to try and do and uh, then you know it just comes into a uh, i mean then i would have the option to just pike box if it came down to it i would be able to pike box at the end of the game and then you know it will be very tough for him to counter anything so just kill off his cavalry with my cavalry kill off his swords with my archers and then use my pikes to try and block off any of his uh, other troops from um, you know uh, coming into play here i'm just going to focus fire all my syrian heavy archers onto his noble sword general and uh, he told me right after the game that this wasn't something that he really expected and um, here it's going to do double damage here because they're uh, they've you know uh, turning their flanks off to these uh, these archers and also this is the non shielded side so their shielded side is their their left and uh, you know these are uh, these arrows are coming into their right so you can see they they've already lost like 20 men and this other volley like from the syrian heavy archers is just going to destroy them i haven't put um, you know I haven't put a heavy shot on but that shouldn't matter too much. Here, you know, I did like a surprise attack and just came in and <laughs> went balls deep with all my cavalry and just like, tried to destroy all of his infantry or, or at least create a you know, major disruption. Meanwhile, he's going to come in with his bow horsemen but you know, these guys are going to uh, charge into heavy archers and heavy archers, I'm, I'm not worried about them dying at all because um, you know, they are very, very strong and uh, you know, already you can see these noble swords are you know, at half strength. And um, that's and it might seem like a while because this uh, I've put it on slow motion, but you know it was just a matter of seconds. Just shows how deadly these um, uh, uh, archers are, and Syrian heavy archers are definitely a worthwhile unit to take. I charged his uh, noble swords, out of which I only got six casualties, or sorry, six kills, and I suffered a bunch of casualties. And um, you know that the reason I did that was just to disrupt his line because I was getting a bit scared that uh, you know if I had to face him frontally, he'd be he'd have too many resources to try and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, get flank shots onto my, or just, you know, be able to flank my line. Uh, a pike core is very, very um, unstable and it's it's not very maneuverable at all. So that's why I did that. And uh, now, you know, my one, one uh, you know, uh, good, one piece of good news over here is that my uh, cavalry are all in very dangerous positions. Like you can see my Gima cav here, just uh, slaughtering his Dacian heavy skirmishers. Although Dacian heavy skirmishers are very, very strong units and uh, very, they're not susceptible to, the, uh, to a charge at all. More good news for me, I've destroyed his uh, noble swords gen. He hasn't got a single kill, which is a piece of really good news here. But, you know, all this while he's microing the rest of his units and now you can get, you can see he's getting a rear charge onto my Median Cav um, with his Spear Horsemen. Spear Horsemen are decent units. They'll definitely never beat Median Cav, but if he can get a rear charge like he did over there, then obviously the, the game's, it's, it's, the game's going to take a pretty different, um, uh, you know, uh, role. So I'm moving up with my levy pikemen and I'm forced to, you know, uh, play them somewhat more aggressively than I would want to because you can see these Dacian heavy skirmishers are just getting great, great shots off onto my cavalry who are supposed to be my main killing force. So I'm going to have to try and disrupt his swords um, because, uh, before they slaughter my uh, cavalry. Fortunately, his spears are, you know, off uh, fighting either my spears or uh, just trying to kill off my archers. So they won't be able to destroy my cavalry at this moment. But you know this is not good for me. The, this bow horse, uh, the, sorry, the spear horseman is going to charge into these uh, Syrian heavy archers, and uh, Syrian heavy archers they will lose eventually, but uh, they'll take a while to lose um, to lose that battle. Here I, I issued attack orders on uh, these levy pikemen. Let's see how well they do. They've already got 19 kills, which is good. That's very good to see. 22. But uh, my Agima cab have died. They've only got 63 kills, and I think my general is also dead. I, I kind of threw away my general in this um, in this game. And uh, you know my my skirmish horse skirmishers were really of no use in this battle. Um, my Thuria spears are starting to find their use. You know they they're starting to throw some javelins onto these noble swords, which will be re really deadly. Um, but as for the rest of my cav, they're not they're non-existent. They're all dead. Um, that spear horseman destroyed both my Syrian heavy archers. I have no idea because I usually I, I thought that you know Syrian heavy archers. One of the really good things about them is that they take a long time to die. Uh, versus uh, cav charges and especially against spear horsemen who aren't like the greatest um, uh, horse units in the game. I thought that they would be able to last for a much longer time than they actually did. 
Uh, but yeah, my Levy Pikeman over here getting racking up the kills, 50 kills, um, and just you know that's only because I issued an attack order. It shows that you know being aggressive with pikes isn't always a bad idea, but it's definitely not the greatest idea. Um, if they were something like a, if I brought a sword core instead, then you know it could have gone much much more differently. But in that case, I wouldn't have brought a game. I wouldn't have been able to bring a Kima cap. I turned around this Levy Pikeman, uh, you know, a couple seconds too late. In order to face that charge from the Spear Horseman, who have done brilliantly, 190 kills with a double chevron already. Um, but yeah, they, I turned them a bit too late, and uh, they're, they're, that charge is damage has already been done. And yeah, at this point, it's not looking good for me at all. I put my Thuria Spears onto uh, uh, into square formations so that they can last uh, a bit longer. Actually, they last a lot longer. Um, spear, uh, sorry, the square formation is just an excellent ability for those Thuria Spears to have. Um, but as for the rest of the game, it looks like I'm going to lose this one. Um, not really surprised. I'm not very good with pike builds. I've only won a couple of games with pike builds against, you know, uh, good opponents. And uh, unfortunately, this is not one of them. So another 10 seconds left. Let's fast forward. This game's basically done. Yeah, close defeat. Um, but, you know, I thought, I thought you know, at one point in time, I could have done pretty... I mean, I, I started off pretty well. Um, I didn't let his uh, bow horsemen get to me. You can see that, you know, they got only 10, 40, 23, and 25 kills each, which isn't a lot at all. And um, meanwhile, you know, I slaughtered his noble sword gen. So I had a very good start um, in this game. But I think my crucial mistake was moving in with my cab a bit too early. Um, I should have played a lot more defensively considering I brought a defensive build. Um, I basically banked on the fact that, you know, I could surprise him with my cab just rushing out from the center. But he, uh, you know, he regrouped very early and he played very well. Uh, one of his Dacian Heavy Skirmishers got 93 kills, but the other one that uh, other ones that I got a uh, good charge off on uh, didn't contribute anything anything to the battle. His armored spears did well, and um, you know even though that he even though he didn't use those armored spears on my cavalry, uh, you know they still did well because they managed to. It was just a a numbers game. He just managed to outflank my pike core and then get into my archer line. So that's what he did with his spear horsemen and uh, with two of his spear horsemen as well. Two two hundred two kills with one. That's the one which disrupted my archers. And 78 kills on the other. I don't know really what this, this unit did. Maybe it got some rear charges onto my levy pikes. Maybe it got some kills on my cav. Uh, probably something like a mixture of both. But his noble swords, as you know, that they're very, very um, you know sturdy units. And 96 kills, 115 kills. You can't really complain about that. Uh, the one uh, levy pikeman unit that I did use well, or sorry, that I did use aggressively, played pretty well. I mean, 52 kills on them. On noble swords, by the way. So, you know, job well done. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace.